In this tutorial, we will learn to design primers for chromatin immunoprecipitation that flanks a specific sequence in the promoter. The example here shows LF1 transcription factor binds to the promoter of CMIC at a specific sequence ATC AAAG. We will design the forward and the reverse primer that flanks the specific sequence where LEF1 occupies at the CMIC promoter. First, let us retrieve the CMIC promoter sequence from the eukaryotic promoter database by logging into the website as shown in the screen. In the search bar, type in MUC and select the first option. In the species search bar, type in Homo sapiens and click search. Select the first promoter ID. Let us download the promoter sequence in the FASTA format from 1500 base pair above the transcription start site and then click the download button. Here is the CMIC promoter sequence in FASTA format from minus 1500 to plus 100 base pair from the transcription start site. Now copy the entire sequence and paste it in a Word file. Find the sequence specific to the LEF1 binding site sequence. The next task is to design the forward and the reverse primers flanking this specific sequence. To design primers for a real-time PCR, the amplicon size may need to be small. Therefore, let us select a small portion of the promoter sequence to design the primers that contain the specific LEF1 binding site. Copy the selected sequence and head to the Primer 3 website. This website is a tool to design primers from a DNA sequence. Keep the task for primer selection as generic. This website shows template masking option for the primer design. Select this pieces as Homo sapiens and leave the other options in default mode. In this box, paste the DNA promoter sequence that was copied earlier. The command input requires a fast A format. Therefore, let us first write the greater than symbol and name it as MUG. In the second line, paste the promoter sequence. Check on the pick left primer and pick right primer. Since the primers need to flank the specific sequence where LEF1 occupies at the promoter, let us identify and mark the sequence. To mark the specific sequence, use an open square bracket at the start of the sequence and place a closed square bracket at the end of the specific sequence. These options can be left blank and in its default state. In the general primer picking conditions, set the primer size and the primer melting temperature according to your choice. The maximum melting temperature difference can be adjusted if required. The table of thermodynamic parameters can be set to its default mode. The product melting temperature and primer GC percentage can also be set according to your choice of interest. To design real-time PCR primers, the product size ranges can be lowered to a smaller size amplicon. 
The rest of the parameters can be left in its default mode or can be changed. Once the primary picking conditions is set, click Pick Primers. The result output provides with the left and the right primers. The details include the sequence starting point, length of the primer, melting temperature, GC percentage content, potential secondary structure information, and the sequence of the primers. The result also provides with the product size that would be amplified by these primers, including other information of the product. In the promoter sequence, the star marks highlight the specific sequence of the LEF1 binding site. The greater than symbols mark the forward primer sequence and the less than symbols mark the site for the reverse primer sequence. There are also additional primer sequences provided by the software. All these primers are designed such that these primers would flank the specific sequence site. A good primer selection depends on various factors. Please visit my other tutorial on how to analyze the quality control of the primers. The link is available in the description below. Thus, we successfully design the forward and the reverse primers that flanks a specific sequence in the promoter. Thanks for watching the video. Do stay tuned for more such videos by subscribing to this channel.